we are feeling that we're separate from the rest of the natural world, wanting to build a life inside a bubble, but we're not separate from the rest of the animal kingdom. I mean, chimps, they have emotions, communication gestures the same as ours, kissing, embracing, holding hands, patting one another, and then facing up to each other when males are challenging for dominance, swaggering and shaking a fist and bunching their faces in furious skulls. You know, they're so like some male politicians. Do you have any favorite moments you've had with chimpanzees? I've had hundreds, but I loved it when little Flint, just beginning to walk, came towards me and with those great big eyes, she reached out and touched my nose. And it was just so magic. They were beginning to lose their fear. You know, it was a real connection. As a child, I idolized Jane Goodall. I avidly paged through pictures in National Geographic, Jane walking barefoot on thick jungle branches, Jane gazing into a forest canopy thrumming with life. She was everything I wanted to be. social convention and went to live in the wilds of Africa with animals at a time when women were discouraged from even pursuing careers in science. She redefined what it means to be human by discovering that we're a lot more similar to chimps than we assume. by male scientists that she was only a willowy blonde with more time for monkeys than men. Well, that willowy blonde changed man's relationship with the natural world. 